Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from Modbot here. I'm sure you're wondering where I am because this is not the usual recording area that you see in all my other videos. Basically, it has been miserably hot here in Southern California the last couple days to a week here and we don't run AC in the house so I have been unable to basically be in my room due to just like sweating and getting headaches pretty quickly from just the sweat and the heat. So basically this room and that room uh, next to this room have a separate AC unit and so I can run the AC in here. So I decided come in here, cool the room off and finally record a video because I've been wanting to the last couple days. And I got a kind of cool fun idea for this video basically. I, maybe it'll be a little serious but uh, it's called Things I Hate About 3D Printing and in honor of how irritable I've been the last couple days here with the temperature, I figured what a perfect time to rant on something like this. So let's go ahead and get started now. So things I hate about 3D printing. Um, this video specifically we're going to be talking about bed leveling which is something that drives me crazy and it is one of, to me, the most frustrating parts of 3D printing. And um, honestly I think that leveling the bed is more annoying to me than actually um, trying to assemble a printer, like the first printer I assembled was super frustrating um, and I'm getting that better now, but um, constantly having to relevel the bed or running into issues with prints that you've been printing for a long time with curling and warping and things like that due to, uh, that could be temperature related, but due to bed leveling is crazy frustrating to me. Now I understand that a lot of the more expensive machines and even starting to drop down in price is auto bed leveling features. Basically where the uh, nozzle or the extruder goes down and either senses points that have metal or their pressure points or something of that nature, um, it, it basically is able to calibrate the bed even if it's not perfectly leveled um, and send that information back over to the software side and that way when it prints it makes up for, hey this section's a little bit more tilted than that section, but sadly I have not been um, lucky enough to have the uh, I guess the leisure of an auto bed leveling printer, at least up until now, with the three printers that I currently have. So the three printers I have right now basically use springs and screws to adjust the four corners of the bed. And um, I've tried various things from, uh, they have like the old paper trick where you put a piece of paper on the hot bed, you move the extruder around and you basically want it to be where it's kind of got like a little bit of tension or it's snug but not too much, like you should be able to basically, from what I've read personally, um, move the extruder around on the piece of paper without having the piece of paper catch or drag. And essentially, if you do that on all the four corners, the nozzle will be um, high enough up to where it's able to extrude, but low enough down to where you'll get a uh, proper adhesion to the bed. Now again, that's what's supposed to happen. And I, the issues that I have ran into is um, on one of my printers when I print, because I primarily print with PLA, so um, ABS is going to be a little bit different and so is the other other filaments that I haven't messed with. But for PLA specifically, I've got one printer that I can print without painter's tape and, or two I guess, but one that I do print without painter's tape and typically if I'm printing small prints it ends up working out fine, but anything large, um, anything that's over probably three to four inches by three to four inches, give or take, um, I get curling like almost every single time and I have done, I have adjusted temperature, I have tried leveling the bed and there, it doesn't always happen but it happens often to it where it's really annoying and like if I'm printing something that is just for looks it's not usually a big deal to have a little bit but if I'm printing something that has a purpose in, in like a sense where it's like a mechanical part or something like that then basically even that little bit of curling makes the part completely useless so that is something that is frustrating with one of the printers. Another annoying part that I've had is using painter's tape. Now there's a lot of different styles of painter's tape. You've got smooth painter's tape, you've got kind of a little bit rougher painter's tape. So basically when I use the smooth painter's tape it doesn't really stick at all. Um, it's not even much better than glass. It's a little bit better than glass but it's definitely not perfect. And <clears throat> when I use the rougher one, um, usually it's okay. Um, but on one of my printers, again this is like not on all the printers but on one of them, when it is done printing, it's solid, but getting it off is a pain in the ass. And I basically have to pry it off by using some kind of a wedge tool or like a spatula type thing. <clears throat> and then I have to peel the painter's tape off of the bottom of the print, which usually leaves behind residue, which is also equally annoying because again, if it's on the bottom of something, it's not like a huge, huge deal, like a little figure. 
But again, if it's a part where like you're gonna use that for the top or the side or the front, it just looks crappy unless you're gonna paint it. I, you know, even sanding it doesn't make it look perfect. So that's another thing that's definitely a little bit annoying, a little bit frustrating. Basically, you just don't want it to curl and you don't want it to shift places. That's like the two things that are extremely important, which is everything, because if it curls, again, like I said, if it's a mechanical part, especially it's screwed, and if it moves, it's obviously screwed because then it's just gonna be printing and it's gonna blob up and um, it's just, it's, it's frustrating. And so um, I do actually have a fourth printer coming in the mail right now, which I will be building um, live, hopefully this next week here for you guys. And it does have an auto bed leveling feature, so I'm hoping that it ends up working out well. Um, but if anybody else has experienced frustrations with the bed leveling, let me know in the comments down below. Um, again, even if you do level it perfectly, it seems that after a certain amount of prints, in pulling it off or just the vibrations, if you have like a Prusa style printer, um, it, it unlevels and so then you have to go back and calibrate it and I understand like I understand that that's a part of 3d printing I really do but it is definitely a annoying part of 3d printing in my opinion but if you feel the same way or if you disagree again let me know in the comments down below don't forget to smack the like button and let me know what you guys thought of this style video if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe for new great videos and if you want to support the channel furthermore I will place a link in the description down to the Patreon for the channel. So uh, once again, this is Daniel from ModBot. I hope you all are doing fantastic and staying cool, and I will see you in my next video. I am out. Peace, guys.